Let's have a look at question 8 in this video. So we have a consultant and his utility function depends on the composite good and labor. So that's the function. Now he also has a wage per hour for the work he does. What's going to be the optimal labor supply? So I want to find out what's going to be the labor that maximizes the utility because the utility depends on labor and the composite good. Now. Um, to find out the utility depending on labor, we would like to have utility as a function of labor only. But at the moment we have two variables in the model. So our first step is to see what is the relationship between the composite good and labor such that we can write the utility function depending on labor only. Now the composite good is the money, actually the composite good tells us what he can spend his money on. So the money that he's going to spend is the money he earns from labor. So that's the wage times the labor. Now with this in mind, if we substitute it into our utility function, what do we get? The utility would be W times L, that's the composite good from here, divided by 4 minus L square, minus L square. So now we have our utility depending on labor. And what kind of function do we have? We have a quadratic function with a negative coefficient, negative 1 coefficient. How does that look like on a graph? If we plot the utility and labor on a graph, well, we will have a concave parabola. It will look something like that. And the idea is that there is a point of labor, there is a point of work that maximizes our happiness and beyond that is too much because we don't have enough time for rest, for, for spending our time on leisure activities or for investing in some composite goods and you know dedicate resources to that. The idea is that there's only so much that we're willing to work. That's what we're interested in and we wanna find out what that is. Well, we can see graphically it's a slope that's equal to zero, a flat slope on the peak of this of the of parabola. So we are looking for the derivative of the utility function with respect to labor. The derivative with the, of the utility function with respect to labor must be equal to zero. So if we differentiate this, what do we get? We get that the W times the labor over four minus L squared derivative with respect to labor must equal to zero. So we start differentiating every term one by one. And that's going to be uh, wage times labor over 4 derivative with respect to labor so we keep only the constant that's going to be wage divided by 4 minus labor to the power of 2 derivative with respect to labor that's just gonna be 2L this equals to 0 since we're looking for the labor let's take the labor term to the other side so we will have W over 4 equals to 2 times L now if we divide both sides by 2 we will find that the labor in equilibrium the optimal amount is going to be W, the wage, divided by 2, sorry, divided by 4, divided by 2. So it's divided by 8. And that's going to be the optimal amount of labor. Hope this makes sense. And we are done.